guys, so I did a QRS on the Maybelline Eye Studio Quads um, by Silk Glam. These are, this is Coral Drama, which looks like this. And after I did the QRS, I had a couple of people say that they weren't sure how to use it. Um, and that it would be nice to do the tutorial as I was actually wearing every single one of these in the QRS. So I thought that that's what I would do for you today. Um, I will be doing the rest of my face as well. The foundation that I'm wearing is the colour B30 and it's the, the new YSL foundation, or it's not new anymore, um, but it's new to me and it's lovely. Um, I've just got some of that on. Um, and then my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So I'll list kind of the face product, I'll list everything in down bar for you. Um, so I guess I will just zoom you in if I can find my remote control. There we go. So this is the same as I did the other day actually, um, excuse the lips, I have really sore like cracked lips, I will be putting a lip colour on for you, um, the same, exactly the same kind of face that I had in the other video, um, but I'm looking a bit like bleh today, so I do apologise if I look a bit kind of like sleepy and I don't know, my face, my skin is dry, my face has gone a bit weird, I have a couple of I had a couple of breakouts it's just I don't know what's going on but um on with the um, tutorial so I've already primed my eye with Urban Decay Primer Potion you can use something like Too Faced Shadow Insurance if you prefer that will do exactly the same thing or one of the Maybelline um, eye studio color tattoo 24 hour thingies that will be perfect or a matte paint pot something like that and the first colour we're going to be going in with on a flat shader brush, this is the Sigma E55, is this one. It's that kind of more pinky peach. And we're just going to pat this on the lid. And then swipe it. So... Once you've done that, you're going to take a fluffy dome brush. I'm going to be using this Coastal Scents one. Um, just kind of a MAC 217, something like that would be perfect. And I'm just going to actually blend that out a little bit. Don't worry if it's not perfect, because we're actually going to cover that with that dark colour anyway. Next you want to clean off the first brush that we used and I'm going to be going in with that slightly lighter colour. And I'm just going to place this on the inside where we put that first colour. Then I'm going to wipe off my fluffy dome brush and I'm going to go in with that same colour. And I'm just going to place it above where we put that first colour and blended it out. Next I'm going to take the first brush we used, that flat shader brush, and I'm going to go in with that first lid colour. And we're just going to place this underneath the eye on the lower lash line. I'm going to go all the way in but you don't have to. I'm then going to take an angled brush, I'm using the e.l.f. small angled brush which actually is really good I think um, and that really dark colour and I'm just going to place this on the corner of the bottom lash line and I'm going to take my finger and blend it across. And if you think it's still not dark enough, just do the same again. Sorry if you can hear the rain outside. I have no idea why. It's just really miserable here. <laughs> it's not very nice. Um, then we're going to go in with the... I'm going to use the Urban Decay Crease Brush. This is the Good Karma Crease Brush. Which is smaller. And it's a bit more firm. It's really good. I am loving this at the moment. And I'm going to take that darkest colour. This one here. 
and I'm going to place this in the outer corner. And you're just going to blend this. Now that I've placed it, I'm going to take a fluffier brush, this is the Coastal Sense one again, and just blend that out. Don't worry if it blends out to not much because you can always go back in with more colour. Once you're happy with that, you're going to take the lightest colour, which is this one here, and you're going to wipe off your fluffy brush again. And you're just going to blend this underneath the brow bone. And if you don't like the fact that it's super shimmery because there are no matte colours whatsoever in this, then you can just take a matte colour similar to your skin tone or just a, a white. I'm going to use Illamasqua's Control. That's going to focus. No, it's not. There we go. Um, on that same brush and just go over that initial colour. Now you're going to go in with that e.l.f. brush again, or your angled brush. And I'm going to be using a matte brown. This is Crushed Walnut from Natural Collection, which is a UK only brand, but something like Max Espresso, or you can use Carbon if you want to use black, that's fine. I'm just going to place that along the lash line. worry about that fallout you can clean that up afterwards once you've done that you're going to take your favorite mascara I'm going to be using the bourgeois volume glamour max and put that on the top And the bottom. On the cheeks, I'm going to be using my favourite bronzer, which is the 17 Instant Glow Bronzing Powder. It's a matte powder um, in the colour light and I'm going to be using a fluffy angled blush brush. Um, this is the Sigma F40. I'm just going to swirl that in there and apply to your cheekbones. Once you are happy with that, you're going to take your blush. Um, I'm going to be using Max Tenderling just because it's kind of a non-offensive colour. Um, goes with pretty much anything. Um, and it's matte, I think. Yes, it is. It's completely matte because the eyes are quite shimmery. I'm just going to take that on the same brush and apply to the apples of my cheeks. and then sweep it back to blend it with that bronzer. Now for the lips. Um, I've got hair in my eye, which is a bit strange. I'm going to be using the Rimmel Apocalypse in the colour Luna, which is peach, so it kind of goes with the eyes. You're just going to place that on your lips. It will look much better on yours because I suppose that yours are not disgustingly cracked and dry. I'm 
And because mine are really horrible and dry, I'm just going to put a really non-thick layer on. I shall zoom you out so you can see. And here we have the finished look. So this is what I was wearing in my Maybelline QRS. I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. All the product, as usual, will be listed below. Um, thumbs up if you like my tutorials and leave any requests in the comments. I hope you're having a lovely day guys and I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye!